Now, how do you know if you're a candidate for DBS? Well, it turns out that it's not as simple as a gallbladder operation. And so you don't just go to the doctor and the doctor sort of eyeballs you and says, hey, I think you're a good candidate for DBS. What happens in actuality is you have to go to an expert center where they have what's called an interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary team that can perform a complete workup on you. And then they can sit as a group and discuss uh, the risks and benefits of an operation. Now this is akin to what happens in oncology. And so when patients have cancer, the doctors get together and all the different specialists and they decide what's the best course of chemotherapy, what sorts of therapists need to be involved, and what's the short and long-term plan going to be. In Parkinson's surgery, we like to stress to the patients that it's the same scenario. You need to be worked up by an interdisciplinary team. That team needs to be expert, uh, both in screening for the surgery, performing the surgery, but also in managing afterward both the medications uh, and the device. And so, so it's not quite as simple as some of the other types of surgery that you may be familiar with. So when you go to your doctor, what will happen is, is you'll see an expert neurologist. And some of these neurologists are referred to as movement disorders neurologists. And what they'll do is they'll see you completely off of your medications. And so you stop your Parkinson medications the night before. So you may come in stiff and rigid, and you may even need a wheelchair to, to get up to the office. But this is absolutely critical because what the doctor is going to do is perform a scale called the UPDRS, the Unified Parkinson Disease Rating Scale, and they're going to get a score in both the off condition, and then they'll give you your medicine. And in fact, they'll give you a little bit extra medication and see how you respond. And, and they'll give you another score in your on state. It's that improvement between your worst off and your best on that predicts how well you'll do with the surgery. And in fact, the symptoms that respond to the medications are the ones that will respond best to the surgery. Now, this is a little bit unfair because there's a lot of patients with Parkinson's disease that have, have terrible symptoms and they would like to get the DBS operation. But at this point in time, with the technology as it is and the centers in the brain that we stimulate, only a select number of patients will qualify. So it's very important to have this on-off evaluation then to meet with the neurosurgeon and discuss the risks and benefits of the operation and make sure you don't have other what we call comorbidities like high blood pressure, heart disease, lung disease that will put you at high risk. You meet with a neuropsychologist for several hours and they perform a battery of tests to make sure that you can tolerate this operation um, from a cognitive or thinking perspective. You meet with a psychiatrist and make sure that there's no active psychiatric disease, depression, or anxiety. And it turns out that the thinking that's tested by the psychologist and the, the psychiatric features that's tested by the psychiatrist, those things can worsen after we put leads into the brain to, to stimulate and try to help your Parkinson. So it's important that we assess them, make sure that you can tolerate the operation, and that we choose a rational path forward so that you're going to get what you expect. Once all of these specialists have seen you, they'll sit in a room, they'll talk about you, they'll assess your risk-benefit ratio, they'll choose a brain target because it turns out there's more than one target in the brain that's FDA approved. And your doctors are going to need to tailor the therapy to make sure that you get what you want out of this operation. And so the most important aspect of the screening is actually that conversation with the patient to say what is it that would make it worth it for us to put leads into your brain, to drill a couple of holes, to go through an operation. And once we understand what your perceived benefit is and what we think we can deliver, then we can decide in the best way what sort of therapy we can tailor for you in terms of a surgical solution.